This video is for Chris Jackson, and we're going to draw a train today. Okay, don't forget to draw lightly, draw slowly, think about your line before you start drawing. Okay. Now, we're going to start with the engine, and we're going to start with drawing a rectangle. You know how to draw the rectangle. The rectangle has straight up and down lines, straight back and forth lines, straight up and down line, straight back and forth line. Perfect. Now we're going to draw, we're going to, this is going to be the engine, and then we're going to put one car behind it. Now trains have wheels. I'm going to um, draw one big wheel right here, erase my overlapping line, and one littler wheel right here, and one wheel in between. Now I'm going to draw a bumper, I'm going to draw the top of the, tr top of the engine with another square. The difference between a square and a rectangle is the rectangle has a long side and a short side. The square, the sides are all the same. Now I am going to draw a rectangle over top of this. See how my rectangle is a little bit longer? Now I'm going to draw some windows and I'm going to draw some rectangles my windows. Now I'm going to draw a smokestack and another rectangle. And I'm going to draw a weird shape. See how there's angle lines? The up and down lines are angled. They're not really up and down, they're angle lines. And I can do curly cues for the smoke. Now, I'm going to put in some lines in here just to make it look a little more complicated. Now, I'm going to put a circle inside the circle, a line joining them. Put some up and down lines in here. Now, when I do the car, I'm going to draw another rectangle behind it. Again, up and down lines, back and forth lines. Make sure I concentrate before I draw. I'm going to draw the wheels, and I'm going to draw the top of the car with another little rectangle. There we go. And And when I draw the train tracks, I'm going to draw an overlapping line, a line behind, and I'm going to jump over top of my train. Now I'm going to draw a line completely underneath my train, and I'm going to draw up and down lines. There we go. Now that you've drawn your whole train, you can paint it. Remember to paint it all different colors. Oh, oops, I forgot to tell you, you've got to outline it with a marker first. <clears throat> okay, Chris, have fun. Make sure that you um, get the staff to email me a picture of what you've drawn. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.